Hi guys, Ryan Terry here, IFBB Pro and USN Athlete. We're here at USI today in Florida. Right guys, so we're going to be doing two warm-up sets, around 18 to 20 reps, getting blood into the muscle around the kneecap joint. And then we're going to do three working sets, progressing up in weight and lowering the reps. Yeah, it's definitely important to get the, the knee joints warmed up, um, especially if you're going to do compound movements after. Ooh, I feel that. Right, so we're really going to crank it up now. We're going to go for about 10 reps. I think it's very important to train legs. I train them twice a week currently. Um, I do normally split my hamstrings and uh, quads apart. I'm trying to improve my calf. Genetically, I'm not gifted with calves, but um, I am hitting them twice a week, trying to bring the best package I can to the stage in 2016. <laughs> As you can see, I went on my max for eight reps. I dropped about 40, 45 pounds, uh, and then did the same drop again. Uh, I wanted to, to make sure I got eight uh, reps on each drop. The purpose of drop sets or supersets, anything like that, is to push the body through its limits and push through that plateau and through those, that lactic acid buildup. So uh, for me, I tend to normally do a drop set on most of my exercises, be it on back, shoulders, Chest. I'll always incorporate that type of training uh, in my bodybuilding split. Ah, that really hurts, that really burns. Right, so we're moving on to the next exercise now, which is a compound movement and it's going to be a front squat. The reason that I'm doing a front squat over a back squat is I like to vary my workout. It's a great way of just isolating the quad taking the hamstring and glutes out of it. It's good as well, if you're suffering from back problems, uh, it's a great way to neutralize the spine and to put more emphasis on the quad rather than the lower back. Because I felt a bit unsteady on my lower back as well, on the weight before, so it is about lifting heavy weight, but at the same time, it's being sensible and working within yourself. I've, uh, I'm out in the Florida heat, which I'm not used to. No excuses, but I'm feeling a lot more tired and it's taking longer for me to recover out here. But that being said, I went into it again and I supported my lower back. I was listening to my body and I put a belt on, a weight belt, and I got the extra two reps that I wanted. So that was 18 reps. And then on the last and final working set, we're gonna do same weight again, and then we're gonna do a drop set. No triple, just a drop set, because it's a big compound movement, this. So we're only going to stick to one drop set. Right guys, as you can see, that was my third and final working set. I incorporate a drop set, like I said previously, I do like to incorporate a drop set or a super set on my last set of, of each exercise. Um, it's a great way of fatiguing, and to be honest, I went for my maximum, which was six reps, and I dropped the weight, and I wanted to get as many as I could, so keeping perfect form, keeping the quad under tension the whole time, uh, which I ended up with 10 reps there. So I'm happy, but I'm tired now. Right guys, so we're moving on to the next exercise. We've just done a heavy compound movement, so we're gonna go on to more of a machine uh, vertical leg press. So this, I'm not concentrating on heavy weight, I'm concentrating on more mind-to-muscle connection, feeling the burn, 
I'm probably going for around the 15 to 18 rep range, okay? One more. Well, one more. Two, two. So we're moving on to the last final exercise on our quad workout. To be honest, I've never seen this machine before, so I really uh, wanted to try it and, and give it a go. So it's called a pit shark squat machine, and it basically takes the emphasis away from the lower back. Um, and yeah, it's a great, great exercise. As you can see, I started off quite light, trying to get a feel for the movement and things like that. And uh, I could really, really feel it dominating on the quad. A bit on the glutes and hamstring, the deeper I got, but it was, was primarily focused on the quad. I went for four working sets, and I gradually, um, pyramided up in weight and lowered the rep ranges. Right, so that's a wrap guys here at USI. I just want to say a massive thank you to all the staff for letting me train here. It's been an amazing, amazing day and uh, great atmosphere and make sure you check this out. I made it onto the Wall of Fame. Can't believe it actually, I'm very uh, overwhelmed and very uh, grateful. Against Indiana, it's just won the Arnold Classic. So some great guys on here, great people, and I'm glad to be a part of it now. <laughs>